Welcome back to We Happy Few. We've already completed Arthur's storyline, and last episode we finished the Light Light Bearer DLC, which I keep mispronouncing as Light Bringer. So just finished the Light Bearer DLC, and now we're going to hop back into the main story, playing as Sally. Add three CCs. Well, let's just fire this up. Please don't blow up in the next 30 seconds. Just a minute. I'm out of Blackberry Spud. Come back later. I need it now. Sorry. I, I don't have any now. What the hell was that? Where is it? Where's the Blackberry? I'm making it. You're lying. It's a very delicate reaction. You're saving it all for the bobbies. <laughs> Kit. This better work on Spud. Sally uses knockout syringes to sneakily knock people out. It's so much more modern. <laughs> more modern than how it was with Arthur, do they mean? Yeah, I've heard that Sally is more of a stealth focused character. Oh no. It's not possible. We sent them all away. They never came back. It's a, it's a rat, isn't it? I'm hallucinating, and it's a rat, and it's gonna bite me. You can't be a baby. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. We better get Spud out of here. Yeah, so I suspected during the Arthur playthrough that Sally had a baby because of something that I read, kind of slight spoiler. And we do. Drop You'd Spud in the alley away, trash bin. Yes, in the trash. Just like you deserve. Um, the alley trash bin. I mean, that's gonna be like way down here, right? Can we speed this up? Like, uh. Oh, and of course, there's the blower. Is it faster if I do this? Probably. <laughs> Brilliant. They all want Blackberry Joy. Spud couldn't have shown up at a worse time. So as Sally, you can hide bodies in trash cans. I remember I tried to do that as Arthur, but I couldn't. I hope Gwen's all right. I don't think they're very well hidden. They look quite blissful in there, though. It's not the right way. Wait. Yeah, up here. Fuck in a bucket. Jesus Christ, everything's going wrong. I shouldn't have left it alone. 
I better turn down the heat. Who is it now? Oh god, it's just chaos. Is there anyone in there? Gwen is more important right now. He won't bother you anymore. Baby happy sounds. Oh, you've got a poopy nappy, don't you? Let's go get you a nice clean one. I'll need to filter some water. Holding your baby gives you a stamina and fatigue boost. We filtered water. Uh, okay, let's answer the damn door. Actually, maybe... Maybe not. No, I don't have a canteen. Wait, there's one right here. Oh. That feels... odd. <laughs> yeah, so we gotta filter the water for a baby so we don't give a baby a bunch of joy. It's really cool Quite looking. running out of nappies. I better make some more. Why did I put that cloth and tape? Okay, this is teaching us how to take care of the baby, I think. Let's go answer the damn door. So we don't have to put up with that the whole time. Constable! Whatever brings you here? Someone seems to have bashed your front door in, Mom. Terrible, isn't it? I forgot my key and... I had to sort of bash my way in. I've had reports, Mom. All sorts of people come into your door. Amazing, isn't it? So many people get lost these days, and they keep asking me for directions. You're not selling illicit substances, are you? You mean aside from Blackberry Joy? To the constabulary? Oh. Are you Sally Boyle? Mm-hmm. Oh, how stupid of me. I'm so sorry to have been a bother. I, I, I know a terribly good joiner. I'll sit him round, fix that door up for you. No need, Constable. But you're very sweet. I'll just, uh... I'll be on my way, Mom. Cheery, bye. We all appreciate what you do. That's enough of that. Let's turn this thing off forever. Okay, now let's relax a little bit and see what we got here. I wonder how different playing as Sally is going to be. Like, let's take a look at our basic skills and see if any of these are different. These are different, actually, I think. I think there's a lot of different skills. So these are the basic ones that are just are kind of like skills and characteristics just as a person. One of Arthur's was that they're like shy and reserved. I don't know what that does. Another was that they're um, extremely fast at running, very athletic. Charmer. Greetings make people even less suspicious. Petite. Slower carrying corpses cannot wield heavy weapons at all. No heavy weapons. Okay. Minus 30% speed whilst carrying a corpse. All thumbs. Rubbish at anything mechanical. Never learn to sew. <laughs> Video of them punching a workbench. Must buy advanced crafting gadgets. Advanced crafted gadgets from shopkeepers. Must buy advanced outfits from Mrs. Pankhurst. Hmm. So this is going to have much more of a focus on focus on shopkeepers. Because as Arthur, I barely ever bought anything. Chemist. Can craft drugs? No one else can. Okay. Um, I'll take more of a look at the skills when we actually get skill points. I'm going to pick up a bunch of stuff and then read it all later. Better chemistry kit. Whoa, whoa. We can just make like everything right off the bat, huh? Hallucinex atomizer is a weapon we can use. Berserk bomb dart. Interesting.
Oh, just picked up a nappy. I think I'm going to have to go back to mashing E on everything. I don't know if we can pick locks, though. I haven't seen any lootable um, filing cabinets. Which makes me think maybe you can't. Garden district kit. You receive torn suit and cricket bat. Oh, it's like a kit to fit in and survive at the garden district. Sally's well prepared. I remember opening this emergency hatch as Arthur and never finding anything inside of it. I always wondered what the heck it was about. Are you still alive, by the way? Yeah, they're just unconscious. They're fine. Look at that screaming. That's not the baby. <laughs> Someone's having a bad day. My god, what happened here? A kitchen explosion. Still screaming. If I'm very, very lucky, you won't wet while I'm changing your nappy. It's a little game, isn't it? Now's my chance to get mummy soggy and stinky. Oh, you can't be serious. <laughs> Spin baby mobile. Oh! Did not mean to do that. My weird habit of... It's not a habit. My weird accident of accidentally clicking my mouse. I don't know. It's almost like the button is slightly too easy to press, so when I rest on it, sometimes it just clicks. I don't know. Anyway, that was a very bad time for that. Change coin snappy again requires nappy and pure water. That's screaming. I want to get out of here and find that screamer and punch him in the fucking face. <clears throat> Miss Boyle, just wondering if you were uh, planning to, to to drop by the um the, the the old neighborhood anytime soon. We all miss you. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm just in the middle of um cooking. No, I'll get on the blower and let everyone know as soon as it's ready. Promise. Oh, she's probably hungry by now. I should have fed her before I started the reaction. Can't all be broken. No, this was enough milk for a month. Fuck it, fuck it. No, I better go cut my down. I can't think when she's crying like that. Oh, right. I just remembered the person that barged their way in here and was just rifling through all our stuff looking for the blackberry flavor. They're the one who broke all this shit. There, there, baby. Everything's gonna be okay. Mummy promises. Thing is, Mummy doesn't know how she's gonna feed you. Did you know that? And if she doesn't figure it out, Baby is gonna starve to death. Is Mummy the worst Mummy ever? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. <laughs> Lionel. Wait. Lionel might have tinned milk. He has a bit of everything. Well, didn't quite finish that 
dialogue, but um, welcome to motherhood. As at certain points in Sally's story, you will need to get back home and feed Gwen. Don't delay or an increasingly heavy burden will be placed upon you as you worry more and more about her. Listen, Fair enough. Darling, mommy's going to go and see Lionel. Try not to cry too much till mommy comes back. Okay? Please? Mommy will be back with supper as soon as she possibly can. I just got nine skill points. That's a lot, because I think all the early skills only take three. Should I drink that right now? I don't need to min-max that much, it's fine. Okay, so we can leave now. Yes! Is it you? Do I have a knockout syringe? <laughs> uh, what would it be under? Weapons? Gadgets? I don't think I have a knockout syringe. Nope. Oh, thank God, no more screaming. Oh. So let's get acquainted with everything in our inventory and our stats and our skills and stuff like that. I think we start out being able to carry less than Arthur, probably because Sally is much smaller and a more stealthy character. Gaby, one of my cats, is on my desk chewing my microphone cord. Get out of here, girl. So we can't carry as much. We start out with no money. We have our own suit, which obviously looks different from Arthur's, but I think it's basically the same stat-wise as the proper suit of Arthur's. Proper shoes, exact same shoes as Arthur. Mm, yeah, let's take a look at skills now. Let's see what the super duper line of stuff is. Um, Blender, looks like you belong here even when you don't. Hide in plain sight, sleep in owned beds without upsetting anyone. Okay, I don't really care about that. Greater chance of breaking the line of sight when escaping enemies. Hmm. That sounds really good. Maybe? Depends what they mean by hide in plain sight. Like, in what way? I don't know, the video just shows somebody turning around and running? Sounds good. Later on, Frenzy deal double damage when health is critical. Plus 100% damage when less than 15% health. Ooh, that's really low health. Alchemist. Unlock four advanced drug recipes at once. All are required unique precursors only Sally can craft. St uh, recipes for stoic, blood toxin, chronobalm, and velvety emulsion. <laughs> double, double. Yield of some crafted drugs doubled. Okay, and then other stuff. Can sprint faster and longer. More benefits from being well fed, hydrated, or rested. They last 50% longer. Nice. Plants yield more resources. Mm -mm. Never had any issue running out of plants as Arthur. Not even close. I just had too much, honestly. But it might be different because we're probably going to be crafting more alchemical related things. Quietly smother people unconscious in their beds. Okay, that's pretty great. Also, it's basically free. It only costs one. I'm just going to get that right now. Talking to people makes them trust you more. Search and carry bodies faster. That sounds especially important because we have a debuff to our um, carrying bodies right now. So this might bring us up more up to normal. Notice footsteps from further away. That's a good one. Okay. What should I get it right off the bat? Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's get Blender. Hide in plain sight, whatever that means. And let's get Body Snatcher. Let's check out our notes. Spud drop by. Ta-da! 
I hope Gwen never remembers the look on his face. Like she was all his anguish? What does that mean? I have to get Gwen out of here. We have to get the hell out of Wellington Wells. Those poor babies, after the germs left, the breeder riots. Sooner or later, someone will make it upstairs, and I'll fail to put them down with an emergency kit in time. And then the doctors will come, and I don't even want to think about the rest of it. Who can help us? Dr. V, that's Verloc, hates me with the fiery passion of his cold, dead heart. And I don't want to think what the quid would be for the general's quo. I wish Arthur and me were still the two musketeers, but when's the day I don't wish that? This morning I woke up and there she was breathing so quiet and tiny and helpless. And I thought I could just squeeze her tight and keep squeezing and it wouldn't be long and she wouldn't cry anymore. I'm a horrible human being. Mom's daughter, that's sure. And I want everything in the world for her. And she could be so much better than me so long as she's inherited her father's brains and not his heart. Miss you. Pussycat, mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? I miss you so. Love, kitten. Is this... As Arthur, didn't I find a bunch of stuff from the, uh... I forgot the name of the club, but, you know, the cat suit club. I think I found a bunch of stuff hidden away for that in Sally's place, so I think they like to go there. In case of my mysterious death... Anton, who's that? You bitch, it's not bad enough that you left. You had to take my notes, too. I'm sure it's very amusing to you to imagine me frantically trying to recreate our formula. How dare you set yourself up as a competitor after all I've done for you. You were nothing but a shop girl when I took you in. Oh, Anton Verloc, right. I suppose you think you can treat me this way now that, now that you've hooked Sir Robert. I know so fast you've hooked him. But how long can a really serious man endure your moods? Someday you'll be alone, without a protector. Once enough time has passed, that's when I'll come for you. I want you to think of me always. If instead you come to your senses and want to come home, I'll be waiting. But not for long. Man, I hope we get to kill Verloc. Clientele. Blackberry. Bobby's our top priority. Spud, bunch of other people. Oh, Gemma is one of the people that uh, wanted Blackberry. Gemma's the journalist that got taken away in Arthur's playthrough. Sally Specials. Uh, Nick Lightbear is on the list. Must pay cash. Good idea. Madam Wanda, that's the head person in that club. And Oblivion, one per customer. What does Oblivion do? Lure you in with its big open world and then turn out to be an incredibly mediocre game. I think that's all to do for now. I guess I should see if there's anything I can craft. Since I took a whole bunch of stuff that I looted all around here. Is there anything I can make? I can make chlorine. <laughs> I can make a nappy. Okay, there's no reason to make any of that. So if I don't have any knockout syringes, I can't stealthily knock people out, can I? Unlike Arthur. Hmm. Hmm. I wanted to play Sally's storyline on the hard difficulty setting, but you actually can't change the difficulty. I think I'm stuck with it for my first playthrough. And remember... Your first playthrough is kind of like the different characters aren't really considered different playthroughs. They just kind of lead one into the other. So I think f for my first time playing as Arthur, Sally, and was it Ollie? I think I'm stuck on normal difficulty because I started a game on normal difficulty. And I'm just continuing that because I finished Arthur's storyline and I'm continuing that save. If that makes any sense. So, yeah, we're stuck on normal. Unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know. Let's get out of the house. You're the screamer, aren't you? What a smart hat. Hello there, love.
Does Sally still have the unlock different shelters thing like Arthur? Like, probably. Maybe? But then, also, I'm not going to find... I don't think I'm going to find any recipes, because I seems like I already start out with basically all the recipes. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh! Mercy! Mercy on the elderly! Thank goodness! You right. I don't have the thing that I got later in the game as Arthur where I could sprint and nobody finds us suspicious. People do find us suspicious. Well, crap. What if I just sprint anyway? If there's nobody around, like right here. That's fine then, right? Let's drink some water. Do we have an uh, extractor by any chance? Uh, need the extractor. Nope. Oh, no, 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 no. How have you been? Shh, 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 shh. It's fine. I've got my eye on you. Lovely day for it. What's going on? Nothing. You take your joy. Couldn't be better, thanks. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. What? Lovely weather. Don't you just love the smell of mutton? So I know from experience that I don't need to loot nearly as much as I did as Arthur, because 99% of that was pointless. Especially on the normal difficulty setting. This goes nowhere of any use. So I'm not going to be as aggressive at looting. I can just travel here. I don't think I need to do anything in particular to unlock this place. I think just by visiting it, it's then good to go. Seems like. Memo from Dickie Bow, Dickie Bow, manager. To all workers, I'm sure you will find this Bolshevik banging on, banging on thrilling? Banging, banging on, as in like continuing on thrilling, but it's taking time away from your duties, requiring even more overtime to make quota. Scargill quality control tell me your gas masks are quite sufficient. There's therefore no danger in using them for longer shifts. Kindly get back to work unless you malingering reds want to experience doing any further banging on at home. I thought I understood what I meant by banging on, but now I don't think I do. Oh, it's been patched. Yeah, that lever's already flipped. Yeah, when it comes to looting stuff, unless it's something that I think looks really important, that I might have a rare component, I'm just gonna kinda like mashy on some things and then call it good. I probably should aggressively get rid of the stuff in my inventory because I don't have very much storage space at all. I just cleared up a ton of room. Yeah, this is... Oh, I have a lockpick now? Okay, so Sally can lockpick things. Box I dared ask her to blow up. I really should never have posted that letter. Now that's proper behavior. <laughs> Thanks. Dear Father McCartney. I know we read a religious 
message to like a pastor or something as Arthur? I wonder if this is the same. I wonder if there's any notes that overlap. Probably not. No, this is the same. Yeah. Talking about converting in secret, confession in mass, wash all sins clean, do they not? Would you have me back? Definitely read that as Arthur. Don't you look well? Did you hear? Please have ten milk, Lionel. Please. What's your pleasure then? This isn't hold on, this isn't Cuddy's place, is it? just looks kind of similar to Cuddy's place. No, it's not. Sally Boyle! I'm afraid I haven't got anything new or fashionable for a mock girl like yourself. Everything I've got's as old as me. <laughs> oh, Lionel. You've never felt old to me. I need some tin milk for something I'm brewing. Oh, well, uh... The, 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 the trade from over the bridge, well, all, all we seem to have at the moment is a few tins of leftovers from the war, and they're practically collector's items. Pricey. Oh, I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. Is there anything we could trade? Not unless you're willing to go over to the garden district. <laughs> Why not? A girl like you? Some of the wastrels out there. there there's rumours of cannibals, devil worshippers. Q jumpers! <laughs> it's sweet that you're looking out for me. Well, some time ago, Uncle Jack made a record album. Uncle Jack Sings. And I got a collector who's dying to have it. Now, I know there's a bunch of Uncle Jack fans who have a sort of compound on Eel Pie. If anyone's got the album, it's them. Bring me that, and I'll give you all the tin milk I have. All right. I'll see what I can find. I guess there's no point in bartering with them because I have literally no money. There you are. All right. You are petite. You are not terrific at fighting or at surviving fights. But you don't have to avoid confrontations because you are a genius chemist. Your powerful experimental drugs make you a match for any opponent. You already know some of the recipes, but you must find the most advanced ones in encounters or via skills. Unfortunately, you're rubbish at anything mechanical, including sewing. You'll need to buy your supplies and weapons from shopkeepers, and your outfits from Mrs. Pankhurst. Fortunately, your old boss, Stuart, the chemist, will pay a lot of money for your concoctions. So brew enough for everybody. Uncle Jack Records. Jesus Christ. Gwen's life is hanging on Uncle Jack Records. Not that Lionel knows that, thank God. So, yeah, that's my main way of making money, is brewing stuff. Okay, I might want the double yield from plants, then. Oh, it's been too long! <gasps> Mrs. Cheney's home. Should I go there just to steal I shit? You around here. Oh, no, God. I don't even have knockout drugs. Forget that. Let's just stick on the main quest for now. Which is... Where, Just forget. Where you want me to go? Happen. This way? Over there? Oh, it's doing the thing where it shows you to go to a different way than the map does because it's showing you kind of how to get there in steps rather than go directly there. Um, yeah, it even shows you where all these shelters are. You can't go to them, but you know where they are. Okay, so I think we just have to get across here. This bridge. Can we just get across? It's probably not a, nearly as much of an issue for Sally as it was for Arthur. One of these days, Gwen, I'm going to teach you all about chemical interactions. They're so much more reliable than boys. Sally uses an atomizer to spray chemicals at her enemies. You can craft Hallucinex in the chemical section of the crafting menu. Then you can craft the Hallucinex atomizer in the weapons section of the crafting menu. 
equip the as a weapon, press left click to create clouds of drugs that will make other people think obsessively about dogs with hilarious and violent results. <laughs> You'll be able to unlock other atomizer recipes throughout the game. Right, so I need to craft it first, but I probably don't have the stuff for that. No. Nope. Yeah, so we can just go on through here. Are they gonna hate me because I'm wearing a proper suit? Stop that! You're making me dizzy. The sprinting? That's what bothers you? Are you a tourist? You dress like one. Uh oh. Okay, so how do I hide in plain sight? This doesn't seem to be working. Oh right. I don't I can't charge up my weapon. That's a skill. Your beamate! Sally, your customer relations leave something to be desired. So I think they were bothered by my lack of appropriate attire. Man, we are so slow carrying bodies, even though we did get the upgrade, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love the bounce on the way down. Let's eat some good food. We're going to be running around a lot. There we go. Don't have more water? Guess not. Follow the road to get over there, because there tends to be quests and stuff along the road, not so much outside of the road. You can chase me if you want, I'm not going to stop. Actually, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be on the road, because I kind of need flowers. We got a long hike. Is a fire over there? Ryan Sharon. No, I'm not getting fresh with you. Huh. I feel like this is important for a quest or something. Right, there's got to be some significance to that. suppose we can loot these as Sally. We couldn't as Arthur. Oh, we can! Oh, that's cool. I always thought they looked significant as Arthur. I was really surprised we couldn't loot them. Okay, can we make anything now? Healing bomb, medicated bomb, nappy. Hmm, that's it. What are we missing for, like, hallucinex? Lose gen and ten butterflies. How do I get butterflies? Arthur's the only one who didn't expect me to be who he wanted. Please don't talk about Arthur as if he's like some great guy. He's really not. I don't have a shovel to dig up these lilies. I suppose I should craft some healing balms right now, because if I get in combat, I can't craft them. Should I go with the really good ones? 
Yeah. Foxgloves seem to grow in really big clusters. sounds are different compared to Arthur, aren't they? Oh. Aren't we dressed all fancy? Okay, hold on. Can I, uh, cr like, tear up my proper suit? Oh. <sighs> right, I can't so anything I can't um oh wait oh wait I have the survival kit right yeah I do have a torn suit totally forgot about that it's gonna make things a lot easier but you're still gonna freak out about me sprinting aren't you no no they're fine with sprinting I picked up a note just a second ago recordings October 4th 1964 Dear sir or madam, we understand that you have exiled us to the Garden District to protect yourselves from our dreadful memories. I think we've read this. We have read this as well. Huh. I think all the notes found in post boxes are repeated. Hmm? This is for the benefit of Mr. Kite. The rabbit got into the garden. The rabbit got into the garden. Sounds like some sort of secret message. Everything will be alright. You're right. Be worse. This too shall. I don't think there's any point in forcing this coin box. Like, you get such few sovereigns from it. I'm sure I'm gonna make way more by just brewing stuff and selling it. I think I'm just not gonna bother. I don't think it's worth the time. I'm really trying to streamline how I play this game, because I found that a lot of the stuff I did was kind of pointless and just took a lot of time. When I played as Arthur, that is. there. What's going on over here? Oh. Guess there's a broadcast. 